15 things you may have missed in Tears of the Kingdom's trailer. Number 15, in the beginning of the trailer, you can see that there's a storm, but something that you may have missed is this humongous tornado in the sky. Maybe these will work like the tornadoes in Skyward Sword, or maybe there's like a dungeon behind it. In this shot, there are blue looking spirits, last seen in Twilight Princess, that were people stuck in the Twilight Realm. This could be an easter egg, but it would be really weird to put an easter egg in a trailer. Number 13, in this same shot, the Bacoblin Mining may have a different moveset because of the pickaxe he's holding. Number 12, in this shot, there's a giant three-headed dragon that's guarding a bridge, and I wonder if this is just like a boss for a dungeon, or just like a mini boss you'll find around the map. Number 11, in this shot of Hentano Village, there's like particles on the village itself. I have no theory or explanation for what these are, but it's definitely interesting. Number 10, in this shot of an explosion, there's a figure inside. At first, I thought I was looking at Ganondorf, but now looking at it, there's some different features. Maybe this is like the end cutscene of defeating a boss from a dungeon? Number 9, these bricks falling off are almost identical to some of the stuff on Death Mountain, so it's probably likely that part of Death Mountain is in the sky right now. Number 8, the different colors of the enemies we see, the different type of horn they have. Number 7, we can see a giant bacoblin in the background, which is rumored to be called a boss bacoblin, but we can also see another one here, but blue. Number 6, this shot of Link riding a horse isn't any horse, it's a Pona. I wonder if we'll get this early game or late game. Number 5, in that same shot we can also see another view of the same giant tornado. Number 4, in this part there's what looks like to be an army of Muldugas. Maybe you have to like fight them to go to a dungeon? They are definitely guarding something. Number 3, in this part where Link is killing the new flying enemy, there's also what looks like to be a cave entrance in the background. Number 2, this figure we see actually isn't Zelda, but it's rumored to be the goddess Hylia, maybe giving Link the power to defeat Ganondorf as Zelda says here. Please, lend him your power. Some honorable mentions are, there's a new type of chest here, in this part where Link is surrounded by robotic arms, one of them has something different on it, and last, this new flying creature is carrying a bacoblin, but this isn't the first time we've seen this, we've also seen this in Wind Waker. And number one, in the background of this shot, you can also see a giant cube floating in the sky. No one really knows what this is, but it could potentially be a giant maze labyrinth pulled from the ground, and maybe we'll get it again, but with some different puzzles. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I make tons of videos as good as this one, so check those out. And yeah, subscribe if you're excited for Tears of the Kingdom 2.